Hello, hi, happy Saturday. I really do not want to be here. I feel like I say this every time. Should I just take today off as like a mental health day? I really don't feel like working. I believe I will have to inject these mice today. And usually I have the support of our postdoc, Netta, but she's not available to come today. So it's gonna be on me to figure out how to inject these mice. And I guess it's good that I've been practicing from before, but now that like these are actual mice that I'm gonna be using for my experiment, the data really matters this time. I'm quite worried that I won't be able to inject them properly. I really just want this study to be as seamless and like perfect as possible so I don't have to repeat this because there's so many mice. Okay, so in an effort to stay positive during this long marathon of animal studies, round two, I'm going to try to start off sharing three things that I'm grateful for this morning. When I get into this like negative mindset, it's really easy for me to just keep keep being negative and to like keep feeling sorry for myself basically so I don't want to be like that I know that I have so much to be grateful for so I don't want to be an ungrateful little poop so today three things that made me smile already or have made me feel warm inside is actually this rainy weather is really relaxing. I went on a walk with Hero in like a slight drizzle and that was super nice. I'm grateful for Hero. Hero is such a smart dog. He's so kind and like empathetic. I, I swear he can tell when I'm like anxious or stressed because last night I was yeah pretty bummed out and tired and stressed so he was cuddling me all night and then this morning he was also cuddling with me all morning. I am so grateful for podcasts when I feel a little bit lonely or isolated in some topic or if I just want to hear people talk like there's always a podcast I can find that kind of like makes me feel inspired or I resonate with or it's like entertaining so this morning I was listening to Jamila Jamil's podcast called I Weigh and her interview with Jane Fonda I love Jane Fonda those are the three things that I'm grateful for today with that I'm going to get started now. I'm done preparing my drug and the buffer. I'm hoping those are the only two things I need to inject today. I forgot to mention that I did ask Jamin for backup so like if I try a few times for the injections and I miss then he's gonna come and help me with this because he is an expert at IV injections and so I really hope that I'm not gonna have to bother him even though he was like super willing to help. Weekends are just so valuable, okay? So I don't want him to come in if he doesn't have to. Yeah, let's just hope that I get this. Wish me luck. I'll check in with you down there, I guess. See you. Swollen face coming right at you. I am done. Yesterday there were 10 mice that I thought maybe would be ready to inject today. So there's like a threshold that they need to meet before we can inject. And um, I just eyeballed it because I would know that it would be a different size by today. So today I went and I measured the 10 mice and only five of them were actually ready to be injected. So thank goodness these five could just be the control group. So I did inject the buffer and I got most of them. I got three out of the five, but there were two that I'm not sure if the drug made it into the tail vein. So when we have Netta here, I will make sure to add two more mice to the control group just to be sure. So I'm done here. I'm just going to update these tumor volumes and then I'm gonna go home. I'm feeling very stressed already and I don't know. I don't know how to cope. I don't know how to cope. Anyways, I will see you later. <laughs> Bye. Hello, happy Monday. It is almost 2 p.m. I just had lunch and before that I was invigilating. So basically for TAing now, they got rid of Proctorio. So now in order to invigilate exams for the pharmacy students, we have to be on Zoom and we just sit there and watch them. And we record the whole thing and send it off at the end of the exam. I just want to show you this lovely recording of me. Big. What is that angle though? Why? My camera is down here. This is how I look the entire time. That double chin game is great. 
<sighs> yeah, that's literally all I had to update. <laughs> now I'm gonna work on my review edits. So I'm hoping today will be the last round of review edits before I can submit the revision. So... I'll check back in with you at the end of the day to see if I can finish it. See you. Hello, happy Tuesday, Tuesday. It is 3.15 p.m. We had a conference this morning, so I was at the conference from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the conference, being at home. Uh, it was a really good conference. Today is day one of day two. I just went down and checked on my mice, so I still have been waiting for all the mice to develop tumors. And today, 15 mice, one five mice are ready to be injected. By the end of today, I should have all of my drugs given because I have six groups total so six groups will be injected i'm about to go prepare my nanoparticle for injection let's do this Hello, hello. It is now 4.30 p.m. and we are done with the injection. The injections went smoothly. Tomorrow should be the last day, hopefully, of injections and then it'll just be monitoring them from now on. Check in with you later. See you. Of car T cells, but it's never 100%. So, in hello, hello from home. Haven't vlogged at home in a while. It is Wednesday, 11 30 a.m. Just left this virtual conference. I'm really enjoying these virtual conferences for sure. Yeah, this is like the second virtual conference that I've been to this year and really, really enjoying the ability to kind of like check out when I'm not interested and then come back in when I am interested. And like this particular conference was just really good. And it's so nice to, to be at home with Hiro. Hello, Hiro. Anyways, I'm going to slowly prepare lunch, have lunch, and then go in and check on my mice. Yeah, I feel like this week's vlog is very... Like, there's not much lab work, I don't think, that I've done this week. Yeah, because it's mostly animal work and conferencing. <laughs> conferencing. It is now 5 p.m. I am finally getting to practice this. I really think that I've been pushing this presentation for so long because is such a huge topic okay so just a little bit of backstory i am a part of our equity diversity and inclusion committee here at the pharmaceutical sciences faculty and myself and my co-chair uh, were invited to talk at this conference kind of introducing the very basic concepts of what edi is so we were both asked to give a presentation 15 to 20 minutes each we're meant to send in a pre-recording of like this presentation and the whole idea is just to introduce these concepts to other trainees so like other grad students and other postdocs and stuff so I believe my part is to just give kind of a brief introduction of what I've learned and what kind of perspectives I have as a grad student in STEM. I'm just gonna flow with that because I know that there are so many other experts out there that can say things more eloquently, that have more experience than me, and I'm feeling just very super un underqualified. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my god. Am I using a recycling bin as a tripod right now? Maybe. So it is April 30th today. Like how crazy is that? How freaking crazy is that? Just last month I was crying about repeating animal studies and here we are a month later. <laughs> I just can't believe how fast. Time has flown by this month. This month has just not been very productive in terms of like experiments because there's been a lot of TA work and a lot of animal work and a lot of preparation for these conferences and stuff because it is conference season. So I will quickly share my April goals and you'll see that, uh, yeah, 
wasn't wasn't that great at meeting my goals this month again. I really have to stop using this recycling bin as a freaking tripod. So this is my April theme, maintain positivity. So when I was writing this, I was very, very, very sad about repeating animal studies. So I just wanted to make sure that this month I tried to stay positive. It will be worth it in the end. So I wanted to do these. Gabo as a nanoparticle efficacy. Obviously I'm still not done that because we're only on day like three post-treatment. I wanted to do the bulk synthesis of these two compounds and I did do that and then form nanoparticles with them. I also did do that on a small scale. So next month I'll try to increase the scale. The other thing was submit my review article revision, which I have not done. When you're working with multiple people on a paper, it takes a while to send the revisions back and forth. I did what I could. It's fine. Feeling not too shabby. So that's like two out of four that I completed. I am going to go get myself some ice cream now. Not because I'm sad or anything, just because I feel like I deserve some ice cream. Because <laughs> I made it through another month. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.